Morning to you, my friend, and we are down at the National Maritime Museum this morning checking out a great new exhibition for the kids just in time for the school holidays. It is called Voyage to the Deep, and it's all based on the old Jules Verne novel, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, and that's where we're waking up, and that's where we're going to take you this morning. But first, we're going to check... National Maritime Museum down at Darling Harbour where you'll find the centrepiece of this great new exhibition which is a replica of the Nautilus which was the submarine from 20,000 leagues under the sea. Now this gives kids a chance to get interactive, do some exploring and learn all about undersea exploration. We're going to get some kids in here to test drive it this morning. Periscopes are up my friends. Stick with us. We're going to have a good look around. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. We're down at the National Maritime Museum this morning. We are waking up 20,000 leagues under the sea. This is a great new exhibition called Voyage to the Deep, which is based on Jules Verne's novel 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, and it is where you'll find a full-scale replica of his submarine, the Nautilus. Now, this is a fantastic adventure for kids. When you come inside, you'll find Captain Nemo's cabin of curiosities, where kids can check out sea creatures through microscopes, learn what's in the ocean and how we are responsible for looking after it. Now, this exhibition will be running right through until April. Great time for the kids to get down here during the school holidays. OK, we shall take you to the front of the submarine after we take you up into... ...amazing exhibition. You can come up to the head of the submarine. You might even be lucky to meet Captain Nemo himself. Good morning, Captain Nemo. He's going to take us on an adventure with my little co-pilot, Thomas, here this morning, where kids can actually virtually steer the submarine through the oceans and take themselves left and right and up and down on a journey through some of the marine life here. It is quite a phenomenal exhibition, something you can see that kids could spend hours and hours and hours on. All right, Nemo, take us on an adventure. Yeah, all right, full steam ahead, Thomas. Let's go. Let's go. All right, I need you to steer the port. That's uh, that's, le that's right. That's left. Yep, right. No, left. <laughs> left. Other Try left. Try and avoid any solid objects. Okay, like whales. Like the ground. Okay, yes. like the ground. That would be good. Stay in the water, and we'll be fine. <laughs> okay, we are going to take you further under the water. Coming to you <laughs> live from the National Maritime <laughs> Museum this morning, guys. Very cool, Stevie. Uh. Looks great. Thank you very much, Timmy. Good morning to you. We've just come upstairs at the National Maritime Museum to check out another great exhibition they've got here for the kids at the moment. It's called Going Places, and it puts kids in the driving seat like Adelaide and Arabella here, and they learn all about the technology behind transport and the things we have to fight every day just to get to and from work, school or play, like gravity, friction, waves and currents, and they are trying to fly these giant airships at the moment through the big hoop and doing a pretty good job of it as well. Now, this is not only teaching kids about technology, but also giving them hours of fun. And it's running here at the National Maritime Museum at the moment. It's like a big indoor play centre where you can learn at the same time. All right, we'll uh, learn a few more things about transport right after we get on our great things that you can do here at going places is have a bike race. Now this teaches kids about the different types of bikes and the energy that you need to ride them. This is called a recumbent bike. Now these were banned from racing back in 1934 because they were actually breaking cycling speed records. It is currently the fastest human powered vehicle on the flat but how does it compare to a regular bike? Well all you have to do is have a bit of a race up on the big screen here. It shows you the energy that you need to get up and down hills and also teach as kids a little bit about the carbon footprint that you leave on the planet. Great way to keep them busy for a few hours as well, Alicia and Timmy. Yeah. <laughs> oh. We might just stay on you for another... Oh, no, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> no two and a no, frights for uh, Stevie Jacob getting time. <laughs> Thank you very much, Alicia. Good morning to you. Start packing, kids. We are checking out a great new exhibition at the National Maritime Museum called Going Places. Now, this teaches kids a little bit about geometry, which is the mathematics of arranging shapes in space. It also teaches them how much effort mum and dad go to, and we'll all relate to this at this time of year after the summer holidays, to pack the boot of the car to take the kids on holiday. So we're going to let these kids pack all this junk in the trunk while we go to the air and see what's happening with the weather. 
the highlights of this great new exhibition called Going Places is this big red biplane, which is not just a toy for kids to climb in, it is actually a virtual flight simulator. So the kids can learn all about navigation and fly around Sydney. And if you're a good pilot like Brad here, can also take us underneath the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Keep it steady, Captain Brad. Keep it steady. Pull up, not into the water. Down and beautifully done, my friend. This is what you would call a little bit of edutainment. The kids are actually learning things while they're having a whole heap of fun. And this will be running right through to March down at the National Maritime Museum. We're going for a fly. We'll see you in half an hour. Wish I had that stuff when I was a kid. I know, great. A bit of science and fun always comes together here at the National Maritime Museum for Kids. Now, this particular exhibition is called Going Places. teaches kids all about transport and how to move things. Now, this is a very heavy piece of machinery, which normally I wouldn't be able to move around. But when the kids push the button, a bit of compressed air comes out from underneath and allows you to move heavy objects. This is moved, used to move container ships, uh, containers, and also in hovercraft. So it is a little bit of science and fun. And the kids are having an absolute ball here. OK, gang, we'll head into the weather while you guys fly around there yourself and see what's happening at your place. The National Maritime Museum today. Voyage to the Deep is downstairs. That is all about Captain Nemo, 20,000 leagues under the sea, teaches kids how to drive a submarine and up here going places, teaching kids all about transport and the technology and science behind it. As you can see, it's like one big fun centre. The kids are having an absolute ball and learning at the same time. Now, if you'd like to come and check them out, this one's open till March and downstairs open till April at the National Maritime Museum at Darling Harbour. Good morning, guys. Yeah, great stuff.